So there's a TV on in the kitchen, so you may hear something, but you may also hear them. So they said, well, who is they or who are they? Who They are the gossips, the liars, the people who tried to take advantage. They said what happened, and they keep changing when this happened and why it happened. The most recent thing is that this happened after my at Fashion From Femme account was, they said, successful. I don't know. I think it happened starting in 2016 when they came up with this idea of cloning me. And I'm going to keep telling you that because as they talk in the background and try to say what they think I'm going to say before I can say it, that supports the idea. And that's proof that the idea was to come up with some sort of technology to anticipate what I'm going to say. And once you do that, they were going to use it for to make money off it. And so they're coming up with stories that these people involved in this told them to help create the AI technology. So part of what they said, and it confirms what was in the book, Northberry Papers, that I tend to say provocative things, and not in a sexual way, but thought-provoking, provoking conversation. And they felt that, that if they could take those things that I say and give it to someone else who has maybe a bigger YouTube channel or someone in politics or someone with celebrity status, it would be good for that person. That's a crime. And I'm saying that it seems that all of their great ideas are criminal acts. And if they're saying it out loud and people hear it, those people are then going to be part of the crime. I'm telling law enforcement. I'm telling the world so that they can't say I'm part of the crime. So something that they said about me is that they said they didn't realize I have an accent. I don't know who you would be if you can't hear my accent, but everyone can hear my accent. It's a very distinctive accent and I'm aware of it. So they said many years ago, I wanted to pursue acting or I didn't want to pursue acting, all of these things back and forth. And I already had said this in a previous video. If I had been so caught up in the idea of being an actress, I would not have continued my education. I would have stopped. Not only did I not stop, but I went straight through from kindergarten through to graduating from college. And that's my point. So as much as they wanted to make it seem like I was some person who was living in a dream world, I wasn't. You can also see from, I put it on Twitter and I hope by now everyone can see these things. You can see that I worked. I was successful in my work. I was recruited, not just by Lacoste in 2015, but throughout my career, people were like, we want to give you a job. That's my point. You can't rewrite what happened. So the last point that I want to make because I'm going to be on camera most today. I plan on every time they talk, telling you folks, I'm going to be that person who just reports back to you folks what they're saying, because I know I'm not the only victim. I think I'm the, probably one of the few victims that is able to prove they're lying, which is sad because that goes back to something that I want to talk about. How do you prove when someone is setting you up? It's hard. It's prob This is probably the hardest thing I've ever done. I told you in the video that just uploaded this on YouTube right now, that a big thing happened and I, I wanted to um, stop it. And that was part of how they got me in 1991. It's hard to prove something. And fortunately, I was able to prove it. People know the truth. The unfortunate part is that it should never have gotten to that point. Just like this should never have gotten to this point. This is provocative because it's talking about how do people prove when something bad is happening? It's difficult. Most people, we end up having to prove it after it's already happened. And that's my point. When I'm trying to tell you folks when this started, how it started, I have to prove it after the fact because at the time it's happening, it's very difficult to prove. And I honestly think that this wasn't from 1991 or 1990 something. It started in 2016 because I think they thought they could discredit me. And 
when it didn't work, they just kept doing it. And the more they tried to discredit me, the more proof I got. So how do you prove that something's happening? It happens. And that's my point. Like right now, as you see this and you're saying like, where, how did this all happen? That's the point. It's hard to prove it's happening until it starts happening. And that goes back to what I'm telling you. I've never been in trouble. I, I worked I had the same type of situations in my life that you hear everyone talking about. I wish at the time when I was growing up, we did have social media because had I put it out there at the time, it wouldn't seem like a big deal. So I always like to give you guys a bonus at the end of every video. So here's the bonus. The bonus at the end of this video is, I got two bonuses for you. The first one is, because I have a unique accent, it made it harder for them to pretend to be me. They called people, it seems they called people, so those people know this ha is happening, and asked them for a story about me, a positive and a negative story. And they wanted to use this in this quote unquote project. Then it became a bully program. So that's part of how we know this is happening and other people know this is happening. The second bonus is that they thought no one would believe that people would, wait, no, no, they thought that people would believe I'm the only victim. No, the woman in 1991 is another one of their victims. That's, I'm going to end on that and I'll upload more videos later. Thanks for watching.